Okay, and the last group of muscles that we need to take a look at is the lower leg muscles. Now what we're going to be seeing is basically we call them, group them as the calf muscles as well as the ones on the front of the leg from a more lateral um, aspect. What we're going to be seeing, I'm zooming in, and this makes it a little bit tough to get an orientation. What I've done here is the biceps femoris. I've pulled that away, and what we're seeing, here's your semitendinosus. It actually wraps around underneath the big old calf muscle that we're so uh, familiar with. This is the gastronemius. Now if I fo uh, fold that away, what we're going to see is an underlying muscle right here of the soleus. So the big calf muscle of the gastronemius, and then the soleus. Now as I work my way, I'm actually at the most lateral portion of the leg. Um, I pulled that away. There's a bunch of fascia uh, tying these all together, just like the flexors and extensors of the forearm. Um, we're going to find the same thing here. What we've got, again, gastronemius, soleus. Now, we're going to be taking a look. This is the peroneus longus. Now, you'll also see this listed as uh, fibularis longus because this is the fibia that's down underneath. So I use the term um, terminology of peroneus longus. Then we're going to work our way up is the external, or sorry, the extra, extensor digitorum longus. Be careful, don't confuse that with forearm muscles. That's the exter, exter, extensor digitorum communis and longus and all those other things. Those are in the forearm. We're taking a look at the extensor digitorum longus of the foreleg. And then down here, we find at the tibial, anterior crest of the tibia, just to the lateral side of that, we're going to find the tibialis anterior. So they go right in order. Gastronemius, soleus, ex, uh, peroneus longus, extensor digitorum longus, and tibialis anterior right there. One, two, three, four, five.